Today, we have an exciting tutorial for all your guitar enthusiasts out there. We're going to explore the Guitarist Reference app, and show you how it can be a game changer for your guitar journey. After downloading the app from the Microsoft Store, let's jump right in. This app is jam-packed with guitar chords, triads, chord quiz, reverse chord and scale finder tool, guitar scales, arpeggios, fretboard note map, alternate tunings, and even a virtual guitar. It's a guitar player's dream. Back to guitar chord screen. By default, you'll land on the guitar chord screen with the C major chord. The root note C is highlighted in a distinct, bright color. The guitar chords and triads are exclusively displayed in standard tuning only. If you want to explore the F minor chord, Simply select F as your root note and M for the chord type. All the details about your chosen chord, from its notes to the formula and symbols, are readily available. Don't forget to click the red heart icon to add current chord to your favorites, or hit the minus icon to remove it. If you'd like to explore other voicings, use the left and right arrow buttons. You can click on individual notes to hear them. Or strum the chord by hitting the play button. To adjust the tempo click menu settings and use this slider. Faster or slower, it's your choice. Turn on dynamic chord triad strumming, and the app will strum the chord with three speeds, slow, normal, and fast. Enabling chord auto sound is a powerful feature. It automatically plays the chord sound each time you select a chord. It's incredibly useful, but let's admit, it can be a tad annoying on occasion. This app boasts 12 high-quality guitar sounds. You can also switch up the app's theme. Let's explore Halloween and Vintage. The themed appearance is quite appealing, isn't it? Now, I'll switch it back to the default theme to continue. For left-handed guitarists, just toggle the left-handed button. You can also choose to display finger numbers on notes, note names, or both. By default, the Chord Progressions tab is hidden. To reveal it, simply click the On button here. This is the Chord Progressions tab. Go ahead and select the key C sharp. Click the chord to view it, and if you've enabled Chord Auto Sound, you'll hear the chord as well. This section displays a list of recommended scales for the currently selected chord. Click on a scale, let's try C Phrygian and it will take you to the chord scale relationship screen. This mode offers a comprehensive view of the relationship between chords and scales. It allows you to overlay the notes of a scale onto a chord arpeggio, aiding you in selecting scales for soloing over specific chord types, and visualizing the alignment of chords and scales. In this section, you can view both the F minor chord and the C Phrygian scale. This section shows the note color legend. You'll notice that there are three types of notes on the fretboard. The bright, colorful notes, such as this C note, represent scale root notes. These particular notes are scale notes. The rest of the notes, which have a black border and a gradient color, indicate both scale and chord notes. To play the C Phrygian scale, click the play button, or you can click on individual notes. While displaying the scale, you can see the position selector buttons. Guitarist Reference can display scale notes across the entire fretboard, or restrict the display to a specific position. A position refers to where the first finger is placed on the fretboard, and all the notes reachable by the other fingers. Let's try the first position, click button number 1 here. The app will display scale notes starting from fret number 1 to fret number 4. To add the fifth fret, click the black circle and select the 5 notes position. 
To display notes in all positions, simply click the number button again or select show all positions. To view the scale and alternate tunings, click the select tunings button and choose the preset alternate tuning you prefer. You can see that the tuning for each string has changed, and this has altered the notes displayed on the fretboard accordingly. Now, click the play button again to see how the C Phrygian scale is played in open C tuning. Once more, you have the option to click on individual notes to hear their sounds. To exit the chord scale relationships mode, simply click the go back button. And now you're back on the guitar chord screen with the standard tuning. Moving on to the next feature, triads. Looking up triads is similar to looking up guitar chords. Begin by selecting the root note, and then the triad type. You can use the left and right arrow buttons to navigate through the triad voicings, and click the play button to strum the triad. Click the red heart icon to add the current triad to your list of favorite triads. To delete all your favorite triads at once, click the delete all button. Moving on to the next feature, chord quiz. To begin the quiz, follow these steps. Start by selecting the level you wish to test, level easy is the default. Click the button new quiz. A chord will be displayed on the fretboard, and your task is to guess its name. You can navigate through different chord voicings, using the left and right arrow buttons, and listen to the chord by clicking the play button. When you feel confident, make your selection. The app will promptly inform you whether your answer is correct or incorrect, and it will reveal the chord information box. Your score will be updated accordingly. Should you wish to reset your score, click the button Clear My Statistics. Enjoy your quiz! Moving on to the next feature, Chord Finder. Discover the chord names effortlessly with this reverse chord finder tool. And here's how it works. Click on the fretboard to set the notes you want to identify. The tool will search the guitar chord database for chords that match the notes you've entered. If there's a match, a list of chord results will be displayed. Click on a chord name in the result list to view detailed chord information. Click the reset, start over button to clear all the marked notes on the fretboard. You can also customize the fretboard display under any tuning by selecting from the alternate tuning list. Moving on to the next feature, Scale Finder. Unveil scale names effortlessly with this reverse scale finder tool. And here's how it operates. Click on the fretboard to set the notes you want to identify. To ensure it functions correctly, please enter at least 5 notes. The tool will search the guitar scale database for scales that incorporate the notes you've entered. If there's a match, a list of scale results will be displayed. Click on a scale name in the result list to access detailed scale information. Click play button. Click the reset, start over button to clear all the marked notes on the fretboard. You can also customize the fretboard display under any tuning by selecting from the alternate tuning list. Moving on to the next feature, Guitar Scale. Looking up guitar scales is similar to looking up guitar chords. By default, you'll land on the C major scale. The root note C is highlighted in a distinct, bright color. If you want to explore the F Dorian scale, Simply select F as your root note and Dorian for the scale type. All the details about your chosen scale, from its notes to the formula and alternate names, are readily available. Don't forget to click the red heart icon to add current scale to your favorites, or hit the minus icon to remove it. You can click on individual notes to hear them. Or play the scale by hitting the play button. This section displays a list of recommended chords for the currently selected scale. Click on a chord, let's try G sharp major and it will take you to the chord scale relationship screen. You can view the current scale in an alternate tuning by selecting one of the preset tunings in this section. Don't forget, you can click on individual notes to hear their sound when you're in different tunings. Moving on to the next feature, arpeggios. 
looking up arpeggios is similar to looking up guitar chords and scales. If you want to explore the F minor, simply select F as your root note and M for the arpeggio type. All the details about your chosen arpeggio, from its notes to the formula are readily available. You can click on individual notes to hear them, or play the arpeggio by hitting the play button. You can view the current arpeggio in an alternate tuning by selecting one of the preset tunings in this section. Moving on to the next feature, Fretboard Note Map. Simply click on each root note button to display all the selected notes on the fretboard. If you want to view all notes at once, click the button Show All Notes Sharp or Show All Notes Flat. Click the alternate tuning button to rearrange notes according to different tunings. Use Position Selector to narrow down the note display to a specific position on the fretboard. Moving on to the next feature, Alternate Tunings. This feature empowers you to tailor the tuning for each string on the guitarist's reference fretboard display. We provide a range of preset tunings, and you also have the flexibility to create your own custom tunings. To select a preset tuning, simply click on the Tuning Name button from the list. There are 36 alternate tunings available, each accompanied by detailed information about that specific tuning. You can choose the guitar sound here, and click button strum up, or strum down to listen your tuning. You can use this feature to tune your guitar by ear. To configure your unique custom tuning, click on the guitar string. A pop-up menu will appear, allowing you to select the desired key for that string. This customization gives you complete control over your guitar's tuning configuration. Moving on to the next feature, Virtual Guitar. Our Virtual Guitar allows you to play guitar without needing a physical instrument. You can play in standard tuning or set your own custom tuning, and we offer a wide range of preset alternate tunings for your convenience. Left-click on the notes on the fretboard to produce their sounds. For open string sounds, click the notes located at fret number 0. You can also change the guitar sound by selecting from the list of available guitar sounds in the Choose Guitar Sound tab. Right-click on the notes to mark them. Then, use the Strum button or Dynamic Strumming button to play the marked notes. To clear marked notes, click the Clear Marked Notes button. To hide all notes on the fretboard, simply click the Hide Notes button. This feature can be quite useful for practicing and memorizing the note locations. If you want to view the fretboard in a tuning other than standard tuning, simply select one of the preset alternate tunings from the list. This app is your all-in-one companion for everything guitar-related. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, it's got something for everyone. Let's get exploring and enhance your guitar skills. You can download this app for free from the Microsoft Store, Windows App Store, by clicking the link provided in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial until the end. We hope you enjoy using the app.